my mother and I, like most mothers and daughters, go through this thing where we, we aren't that close. And then, luckily, later on, we get close again, especially when she gets in her old age and she really needs me, okay? And uh, during that time, I guess when she turned about 75, well, really, after my father passed away, and she was in her 70s, and um, soon, I guess for about another good 10 years, so she turned about 80. She was pretty independent, okay? But then when she turned 80, she started wanting me to go everywhere with her, and because she was a, a very social person, and she had a lot of friends, and she was an organization joiner. She joined so many different organizations, and she would go to their functions all the time, and if she didn't have someone, a male escort, um, you know, the the responsibility would fall on me. So I would take her to a lot of her little, little functions and stuff, and I enjoyed myself, actually, just being with her and really getting to know her as an adult. I know it took so long, but, you know, my head was elsewhere, too, so. But at any rate, it got to a point where people used to say that we looked alike. Now, here I am, 51% Asian. My mother is probably, well, I know that her grandfather was white. And I don't, not on one side, I'm not sure about the other sides, but, you know, I'm sure she's probably somewhere around 50-50 herself white and black kind of thing. I mean, there's no reason we would look alike. And so, I guess just from being around each other and, and getting each other's um, facial expressions, I don't, you know, I don't really know, but that's what people were saying all the time, right? Anyway, when she was in her 60s or so, she got a knee replacement because she hurt her knee. And when she turned 80, she had to get it replaced because it was like 20 years later and the technology had changed and was, you know, just so much better. So she went into the hospital to get her knee replacement redone. And um, because she was 80 years old and she was kind of frail, um, they wanted to make sure that she had a supply of blood in the event that she would hemorrhage or in the event she would need it. They wanted to be able to have, I don't know how many quarts of blood on hand in that event. Typically, what they do is go to the family members to see uh, if, uh, you know, there's a, a match there. And they'll just get the blood from the, from the donors, or from the family members. And I guess if you don't have any family members, then you go to a blood bank. But luckily for my mother, uh, even though I'm adopted, uh, my blood type is the universal donor. So, uh, everyone, no matter what your blood type is, can accept my blood. And that's type O negative. So yeah, so lucky for everybody around me, you're saved, I'm here. <laughs> and sure enough, they took, I think, two quarts of blood from me, a lot of blood. And so, as it turned out, I donated the blood, mother had the operation, and guess what? She hemorrhaged. And guess what? They infused her with all the blood that I had donated. And that made me feel so good because in the end, we shared DNA. My mother had my blood inside her body. And yeah, that was a pretty neat feeling. And you know, it just made me feel good on so many different levels. One, that I could do something to help her, you know, because this is a woman that snatched me from a horrible life. But at any rate, so it just made me feel good on that level that I could do something for my mother. And then it also made me feel good that it just, to me, we actually did share DNA. We actually did share something. We shared blood. I don't know, it just made me feel good. So anyway, that's my little, my little story about how my mother, my adopted, my adopted mother, and I, by the way, I don't even like that term, my adopted mother. This is my mother. It's the only woman that I ever knew to comfort me and guide me and love me and do all, and sacrifice for me and do all kind of things that mothers do. All right, so, you know, I understand, you know, people want to know the story. I get that, all right? So, I just don't want adopted mother to mean anything less. In fact, maybe it should mean something even more, like alpha mother almost. So, anyway, that's my little story for the day. Thanks for watching.